the judge decided today that Omar al-Bashir shall be arrested to stand trials, to stand trial for crimes committed against millions of civilians in Darfur for the last five years. His victims are the very civilian that he, as a president, was supposed to protect. In accordance with the law and in accordance with the decision the resident just informed to all of us, Omar al-Bashir arrest is necessary to ensure his appearance in court, to stop him destroying evidence and committing new crimes. Omar al-Bashir rights will be respected. The government of the Sudan is obliged under international law to execute the warrant of arrest on its territory. We are not, the court is not calling for someone else to do it. If the government of the Sudan does not execute the warrant of arrest, the UN Security Council will need to ensure compliance. The judges were clear. There is no immunity for head of states before the International Criminal Court. As soon Omar al-Bashir travels through international airspace, he can be arrested. Like Slobodan Milosevic or Charles Taylor, Omar al-Bashir's destiny is to face justice. It will be in two months or in two years, but he will face justice. The court decided, the court issued an arrest warrant. It is time to protect the victims. It is time to stop bombing civilians. It is time to stop rapes. It is a time to stop the crimes. The prosecution office will read carefully the decision. We are just informing us you at the decision, so more details will be after. I am here with the Deputy Prosecutor Fato Ben Suda, representing the entire office. We work very hard to present this case, and we work very hard now to ensure that the arrest warrant is executed. That's our next work.